He was taken into custody today after reports of a street fight involving a tomahawk. Police later freed him without charge. The colourful criminal is no stranger to being on the wrong side of the law, but this time he insists he did nothing wrong. Unsafe behaviour on the part of uh, ex-prisoners who will try to... Well, they claim that I bash them once they see and try to, uh, you know, hurt me. The man who's made his name through violence claims he was chased down a busy street by a tomahawk-wielding man late this morning. And he had a shirt, and underneath the shirt he had a homo tomahawk and he attacked him on his right hand. Chopper says he was cornered and picked up an iron bar to defend himself. He ran into the panel beaters, grabbed a, I grabbed a pipe, and I said, uh, I said, come here now, and he jumped into a car and pissed off. Police converged on the scene, arresting Reed and his friend Frank, who owns the nearby pawnbroker shop. While police have released the notorious underworld figure without charge, the alleged offender remains at large. Chopper maintains he's never seen the man before. It's just someone who may have been big noting himself. And the member of the Tomahawk tried to, tried to take my life. Police say in this headline appearance, Reed's version is backed by witnesses. Hermione Kitson, 10 News.